<clears throat> I apologize for those attending uh, on Zoom. We had a, a difficulty. Uh, we're gonna start the meeting all over. Welcome everyone to the Township Council meeting, December 5th, 2022. This meeting is now called to order. Councilman Kwadi, please lead us in a flag salute. We did talk about Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Take notice that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with NJSA 10 colon 4-8 and NJSA 10 colon 4-10 as follows. A notice of the meeting was prominently posted on the bulletin board at the municipal building located at 225 Main Street, Little Falls, New Jersey on March 11th, 2022. Copy of the notice was mailed to the North Jersey Herald and News and the record on the same date. Additionally, a copy of the notice was filed in the office of the township clerk on said date. A link and a telephone number to join the meeting virtually can be accessed on the township website at www.lfnj.com. Electronic provisions have been established for, for the public to participate during the public comment portion of the meeting. Thank you. At this time, please call the roll. Council Member Hablitz. Present. Council Member Kawadi. Present. Council Member Sieber. Present. Council Member Vancheri. <laughs> Council President Skoba. Present. <clears throat> Mayor, the floor is yours. Thank you, Council President. Before opening it to the Council members for any questions that they may have for me to answer, I do have two proclamations this evening. The first is a proclamation recognizing World AIDS Day. And it reads, whereas December 1st is an international day dedicated to bringing awareness to the AIDS pandemic, showing support for people who are battling this disease and remembering those who lost their lives to AIDS. And whereas AIDS is a life-threatening disease caused by human immunodeficiency virus, which attacks a person's immune system. And whereas 40 years have passed since AIDS cases were first reported and HIV still threatens our world today, and whereas the United States hopes to reduce our number of new infections in this country by 90% by 2030, now therefore be it resolved that I, Mayor James Belford Damiano, on behalf of the Little Falls Ta Township Council, do hereby proclaim December 1st, 2022 as World's AIDS Day in the Township of Little Falls. And there's a second proclamation this evening in support of Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over 2022 Year-End Holiday Crackdown. And it reads, whereas approximately one-third of all fatal traffic crashes in the United States involve impaired drivers. And whereas impaired driving killed, crashes killed 11,654 people in the United States in 2020. And whereas impaired driving crashes cost the United States almost $44 billion a year. And whereas during the past five years, New Jersey's roadways experienced 33,000 798 crashes and 662 fatalities involving impaired drivers. And whereas enforcement crackdown is planned to combat impaired driving. And whereas the year end holiday season is traditionally a time for social gatherings, which include alcohol. And whereas the state of New Jersey, Division of Highway Traffic Safety, has asked law enforcement agencies throughout the state to participate in the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over 2022 year end holiday crackdown. And whereas the project will involve increased impaired driving enforcement from December 2nd, 2022 through January 1st, 2023. And whereas an increase in impaired driving enforcement and a reduction in impaired driving will save lives on our roadways. Therefore, be it resolved that the Township of Little Falls declares its support for the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over 2022 year-end holiday crackdown from December 2nd, 2022 through January 1st, 2023 and pledges to increase awareness of the dangers of drinking and driving. And the chief will have some additional information regarding this campaign here in Little Falls in the 2022 into 2023 season. Is there any questions of the council that I can answer before turning it back over to the rest of the meeting? Do you want to turn now to the chief for some information chief. about that campaign? Yes. Uh, so the, uh, the proclamation, as well as a uh, news release, which I'm going to put out to social media, were part of the uh, the the uh, drive sober or get pulled over grant. Um, like I said in the previous meeting, 100 enforcement hours through the grant, no cost to the taxpayer. So we're, I think, scheduled at 60 to 70 hours thus far, um, but we're going to use the entirety of the grant. And so you'll see increased patrols. Hopefully, um, we pull everybody over and they're not uh, consuming alcohol, but unfortunately, we know that's not the case. So, 
we're going to, uh, you know, see the officers out there. So there'll be an increased presence in case uh, anybody from the public sees them. That's what they're doing. Does the council have any questions for the chief? Thank you, chief, for that good report. Yeah. We'll move forward. <clears throat> have a motion to open the meeting to the public for general matters and agenda items. So moved by Councilman Quadi, second by Council Member Havlitz. All those in favor of this motion, please do so by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, do so by saying nay. Motion carries. Mrs. Krause. Anyone wishing to address the Township Council may do so through the Council President. It is preferred if you give your name and address for the record. Comments are to be limited to three minutes. However, if appropriate, you may be granted additional time in the sole discretion of the Council President. Members of the public who have joined the meeting virtually and desire to provide comment shall raise their virtual hand in the Zoom application. The meeting moderator will cue the members of the public that wish to provide comment, and the Council President will recognize them in order. Members of the public who have joined the meeting by calling in must press star six to mute and unmute themselves and star nine to raise their hand. Members of the public who have joined the meeting via the Zoom application must click the reactions icon and then the raise hand icon. Once the process is complete, we will return to the regular order of business. Thank you. The floor is now open. Mr. Kusha, anyone in the There's chat? No, no one on the Zoom that has their hand raised. Seeing no one come before this government body, have a motion to close the public. So moved. Moved by Council Member Sieber. Second. Second by Council Member Hablitz. All those in favor of closing the public, do so by saying aye. Aye. All aye. those opposed, do so by saying nay. That motion carries. Mayor Damiano, ordinance 1446 and 1447. Sure, there are two ordinances, 1446 and 1447, which are on the agenda this evening for a second reading and adoption. And they have to do with the salary ordinance here in the township of Little Falls and the administration of government. And there are two positions being added to the within salary ordinance. The first of which is an assistant business administrator position here in the township. Uh, Mr. Cuccia has advised myself and I have since come to this council of his intentions to retire within the next year and a half or so. And in doing so, I believe it prudent that an assistant administrator position be created so that it allows for a transitional period for an assistant business administrator to learn the roles of a business administrator here within the township of Little Falls. Uh, I know there were some questions posed to me as to why an assistant business administrator mm -hmm. position was necessary within the township. Uh, and the reason is that, uh, A, the offices have always been historically thin here in Little Falls as far as the number of employees, um, but this is for now a transitional uh, position. Uh, again, maybe something that is needed in the future, but for now intended to be a transitional position. Uh, that is something that, again, will allow someone to learn the roles of a business administrator here in Little Falls, allow them to understand what is needed into the future, uh, and that is the intention for that uh, that role there and the salary ordinance that goes along with it, as well as a second position for an administrative assistant uh, for myself, because there again has been a little assistance in the office of the mayor here in Little Falls in the past. There have been additional assistants here. There have been additional roles in that sort of fashion. Uh, they have been eliminated over the years. And it is someone that, again, that this role may not be filled overnight. It may not be filled tomorrow but it is something that will allow me to have some additional assistance in my role here in the township of uh, as mayor uh, that will allow this township to continue to run smoothly. Uh, so those are the two positions that are within the two ordinances uh, and the two ordinances that are on for the agenda this evening. Are there questions from the council regarding 1446-1447? Seeing none, we'll move forward. I have a motion to approve resolution A. So, so moved. moved by Councilmember Quadi, second by Councilmember Receiver. Uh, this is a roll call. Mrs. Kraus, please call the roll. Councilmember Havlitz? Yes. Councilmember Kawadi? Yes. Councilmember Receiver? Yes. Council President Scoba? Yes. Mrs. Kraus, please read 1446. Second reading in public hearing of ordinance number 1446, an ordinance entitled An Ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Little Falls in the County of Passaic, State of New Jersey. Amending Chapter 3, Administration of Government of the Code of the Township of Little Falls. Thank you. The public hearing on Ordinance 1446 is now open. Does anyone wish to speak on 1446? Mr. Kusha? No one in the Zoom has their hand raised, sir. Seeing no one else come forward to speak on 1446, the public hearing is now closed. 
I have a motion to adopt 1446. So moved. Moved by Council Member Siever. Second. Second by Council Member Hablitz. This is a roll call to adopt 1446. Mrs. Krause, call the roll, please. Council Member Hablitz? Yes. Council Member Kawadi? Yes. Council Member Siever? Yes. Council President Scova? Yes. Mrs. Krause, please read 1447. Second reading and public hearing of ordinance number 1447, an ordinance entitled 2022 Little Falls Salary Ordinance. Thank you. The public hearing on the ordinance 1447 is now open. Does anyone wish to speak on 1447? No one in the in the see no one see, seeing that no one would like to come forward to speak on 1447. The public portion of the ordinance is now closed. We have a motion to adopt 1447. So moved. Moved by Councilmember Kowati. Second. Second by Councilmember Hablitz. This is a roll call to adopt 1447. Mrs. Krause, please call the roll. Councilmember Hablitz? Yes. Councilmember Kowati? Yes. Councilmember Siever? Yes. Council President Scoba? Yes. We'll move on to council reports. Councilmember Hablitz? Thank you, Council President. Uh, so, just some updates for the library. Uh, the library had their uh, annual family gingerbread house decorating contest uh, this past Saturday. There were two ses sessions, excuse me, and they were very successful. Uh, so thank you to the library for doing that nice community event. Uh, we have two more upcoming events, uh, very family friendly. The library will host a holiday craft night for all ages of children on December 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, this one does not require registration. Uh, so come down to the library and join the festivities. And lastly, this Wednesday, uh, December 7th at 7 p.m., there will be holiday music at the library uh, featuring the music of the PV uh, music department. Um, tomorrow night, there is another event that I would like to mention. Um, it's from our Historical Society. The Historical Society will host a kickoff presentation tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the Civic Center, which is 19 Warren Street, uh, for a presentation of Old Town Hall with dessert and coffee being served by Ethan and the Bean. Um, I think that I speak for this council as well as the mayor is saying that we're very happy uh, that this great vision for the property is coming to fruition. So hope that people can attend and see the vision for the um, old police station, which is now going to be the old town hall. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Habits. Council Member, um, Councilman Kawadi. Thank you, Council President. Um, so on Friday night, we held the uh, annual holiday tree lighting party uh, uh, or event, excuse me. Uh, I, it was a great success. The park looks beautiful. Um, the DPW uh, should be commended for uh, how terrific Wilmore, Wilmore Road Park, Memorial Park and Wilmore Road looks. Um, and the tree lighting was a, was a great success. We had the Girl Scouts there, we had the PV Choir there, um, and we had the Peddler's Village, which I had mentioned previously, uh, was an idea that my wife had a year or so ago. And, was executed so brilliantly by Councilwoman Hablitz and um, Tyler Pacero and Mr. Pace, uh, mostly incorporating people uh, who had either been involved with the farmer's market or reached out to us because they wanted to be involved in the farmer's market and the farmer's market uh, wasn't the appropriate place to sell their particular items. It was great that you had a list of people uh, to reach out to who could who could set up and have the event. Um, it happened Friday night, and then because of the rain, it was postponed to Sunday, uh, and it was, a, it was a great success. And so they all deserve uh, our thanks and appreciation for that. Um, the next day, the Little Falls Business Association held their Breakfast with Santa, which was a sold out event. They had two sessions now, um, and they just they do such a great job every year. And so I wanna thank them for, for putting that event on. I believe the PBA is doing theirs on Saturday. Um, and for mentioning tomorrow night, the uh, moving forward meeting is occurring at Little Falls School Number One at 7 p.m. If you're interested in hearing more about the referendum that's coming up, you should attend that meeting um, and listen to what they have to say. That's it for me. Thank you, Councilman Quality. Councilman Receiver. Thank you, Council President. Um, lots of festive events happening at this time. So we have uh, the Little Falls Farmers Market is presenting our second annual Light Up Little Falls Holiday House Decorating Contest. Um, Pre-registration is required and um, the township will provide a lawn sign for your residents and distribute a map and listing of all the houses participating in the decorating contest. 
And we encourage all Little Falls residents to view our interactive map and of all the participating residents and cast their vote for their favorite home. There will be prizes for first, second, and third place. And voting will end by December 18th. And you can cast your vote, one vote per Little Falls resident um, uh, by emailing Tyler Passaro at the Little Falls Rec Center. That's all I have. For Thank you. Um, Mayor, would you like to talk about the menorah lighting? Yes, thank you, Council President. I was just looking for the, the date in my calendar. The 21st. It is, yes, it is scheduled for the 21st at 6.30 p.m. in Wilmore Park. We'll be hosting the annual menorah lighting at Wilmore Park that evening, so all residents are invited to attend. Uh, also, uh, this year, we have a resident who we can, well, a child in town who we consider to be a resident. His name is Liam, and he is sort of an adoptee of Little Falls because he spends most of his days here in Little Falls with his aunt and uncle who care for him during the day. Uh, and he was supposed to be part of the annual holiday light parade that makes its way through Totowa and Woodland Park that the Little Falls Fire Department and uh, Passaic Valley and the Little Falls uh, DPW and uh, many of our departments and our DPW, and they, again, they, they all decorate their trucks and are all part of this light parade that make their way through Totowa and Woodland Park. And Liam, who is three years old, was supposed to be part of the holiday light parade this year and was supposed to be on one of the floats. But unfortunately, uh, Liam suffers from cancer and had undergone chemotherapy uh, a couple of days before the light parade and was just too weak to make the holiday light parade uh, last weekend, and or I'm sorry, well, now it's a week and a half ago. And in support of Liam, when the fire departments found out that Liam was unable to make it to the parade, uh, they decided to bring the parade to Liam. And originally it had started with just a couple of trucks were going to come and surprise Liam in front of his house. Uh, and, you know, they were going to give him a couple of gifts, quickly turned into about 35 trucks that were all lit up uh, coming down and surprising Liam. And it was an incredibly touching moment mm -hmm. to have incredible support from Little Falls, from Totowa, from Woodland Park. Uh, Fairfield was there. Wayne was there. The Sheriff's Department was there. And again, there were about 35 trucks that showed up with not just one or two firemen on all of these trucks. Every one of these trucks was packed with members of every single one of these departments. And it was incredibly touching to see the support for this young boy. And I'm getting choked up saying this because this young boy has been through so much. And this is really what this holiday season is about. And I truly want to thank everyone that made that day so special for this young boy. That's all, Council President. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> We'll move on. We have a motion to open the meeting for public and uh, for public and agenda items. So moved. Moved by Councilmember Quadi, second. second by Councilmember Havlitz. Is a voice vote. All those in favor, do so by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, do so by saying nay. Mrs. Kraus. Anyone wishing to address the Township Council may do so through the Council President. It is preferred if you give your name and address for the record. Comments are to be limited to three minutes. However, if appropriate, you may be granted additional time in the sole discretion of the Council President. Members of the public who have joined the meeting virtually and desire to provide comment shall raise their virtual hand in the Zoom application. The meeting moderator will cue the members of the public that wish to provide comment, and the council president will recognize them in order. Members of the public who have joined the meeting by calling in must press star six to mute and unmute themselves and star nine to raise their hand. Members of the public who have joined the meeting via the Zoom application must click the reactions icon and then the raise hand icon. Once the process is complete, we will return to the regular order of business. Thank you. The floor is now open. No one. No one. <clears throat> Seeing no one coming before us in the council chambers or on on Zoom, I have a motion to close the public comment. So moved. moved by Councilmember Kwadi, second by Councilmember Sieber. This is a voice vote. All those in favor, do so by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed to that motion, please do so by saying nay. The motion carries. I have a motion to adjourn this meeting. So moved. moved by Council Member Quadi, second by Council Member Sieber. This is a voice vote. All those in favor of adjourning this meeting, do so by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, please do so by saying nay. This meeting is now closed.